Hey guys, welcome back to another video. You're only welcome to this video and not any other ones until this one's over. Anyways, this video is a little bit different from my other videos. Um, that being like my gaming videos and all that other stuff. Uh, this video is about something you may or may not have heard of. Timu. Just want to say that uh, I know I'm late to the Timu party. Like uh, Timu's been out for a while. I just wanted an excuse to buy stuff online and he was the perfect opportunity. By the way, I am not sponsored. So yeah. In case you don't already know what Timu is, Timu is an online marketplace operated by the Chinese e-commerce company PDD Holdings. It offers heavily discounted uh, consumer goods, which are mostly shipped to consumers directly from China. So that's what Timu is. So it's basically Amazon, but instead of being ran by this guy, it's ran by a Chinese company. In case you've never heard of or used Timu, um, getting into it, getting started with using it and all that stuff, falling into the rabbit hole, starts the same, kind of, no matter what. So the advertisements always advertise lots of items, but for like cheap value, for uh, heavily discounted prices, which would think, whoa, I can get this for however much? Th this much? Wow. You probably see like an ad that's like a shop like a billionaire. Um, or you probably got a message from a friend if you have one or family members, which hopefully you have. Um, and it would look something like this. Usually when you get links like this, it's to get free items. But as we know from economics class in high school, uh, nothing is free. The mini games play out a little weird. It says like jackpot, there'll be a spinning wheel and it says stop. And it'll be like, you could win from like spinning the wheel, playing their game, their little scratch off puzzle. It's, it's always different. There's a lot of things. Sometimes they play out where, oh, you're point one away from getting eight free items or whatever. And you can only get those points if you were to invite another person. Like, um, let's say I want my brother to do it. If I send it to him, he can help. It'll give me point one, and then point zero one, or something like that. Very small numbers. It always gets smaller the farther you progress into the mini games that have you play. And these sometimes are where either you have to buy more stuff or you have to get more people to click on your link and be new users in order for you to get the full rewards. So, um, let's play Timu. The game. All right, so here is what it looks like, the app. So here's our first little look at Timu. Uh, okay, we got some, we got some cool looking products here. $50? I don't feel like paying that much. How do I go back? Yeah. Um, okay. Woman's clothes? Now, I'm not a woman, so I wouldn't need woman's clothes. A gun? Cool, cool. Okay. Nice, alright. So, uh, lots of interesting things. It gets worse. It gets worse what you could buy on Timu. Uh... Alright. Um... I don't want woman's clothes. I don't want... I don't want it. <laughs> woman's curve clothing. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Jump starter for a car. Car jumper set. Kids clothes. Okay, so maybe you wanna maybe you wanna get clothes for your family. Yeah, so all this stuff right here is 
quite normal, I guess. When I first downloaded Timu about a year ago, I remember looking in here and I saw fake vapes. Like, really? You're selling that? And I, uh, I guess one of the problems on Timu is you can buy some interesting stuff. And I don't think there's much stopping kids from buying it, which could be a concern. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> what is this? Nice, nice. <laughs> I had one before. So I had to I had to get rid of this part. This, I have to get that out of here. This is a coin with a bikini dressed woman on it. This, I guess it could be cool if you wanted it, but like, not very kid friendly. Okay, that's just sick. Night vision binoculars? What? <coughs> awesome. <laughs> so yeah, you can buy pretty interesting stuff on Timo. <laughs> nice. Is you're kidding. You're kidding. You could buy a PlayStation 5 on here. Are you going to trust $500 to get your PlayStation 5 off of Timu? Motorbike? $300. Nice, nice, nice. Another PlayStation 5. Figures, a switch. So yeah, you can buy a lot of things off of Timu. Some of it could be weird, some of it could be interesting. Cool accessories, kids and adults toys. Now, all this is really cool, but what if I wanted to get it for free? Um, so let me show you. Earn credits and free gifts. Here's where the fun part is. Here's one that I tried doing years ago. It's really hard to do. It's called Fishland, and you're supposed to feed fishes and all that stuff. Okay. No, did I get? That? No way. I got the one I can't even see. Would you look at that? I got the top reward. Raise fish to get your item? Dude. 100% off. Free. I can get that for free. Super easy mode. Okay. Oh, wait. That's just the protective set. Okay, I'm just gonna pick random things just to get this over with. This is the mini game part. You have to do this a lot to do it. Now, in the beginning, it'll be like, whoa, I'm doing this really fast. I can get this item for free pretty soon. But um, the longer you do it, um, the smaller the number gets. It'll start off from getting 40%, 30%, 20%. I can probably get there. 
ten percent, five percent, two percent, one percent, point two five percent, point one percent, point zero one percent. Am I ever gonna get this? I don't think so. So that's when it gets fun. Don't look at my address. Those who know my address, keep it to yourself. So here's just me playing through it, and it's really laggy on here because I'm recording the screen and it's a really bad laptop, which I will fix soon. Maybe, maybe. <sighs> oh my gosh. All right, well, it's like a tycoon, a Roblox tycoon, but I'm getting free stuff. Now, as you can see on here, there's a lot of, a lot to process. If you do, if you invite people, um, and you open it daily, you, um, you participate in all their games and stuff, and you sign in, invite people, play it. Sometimes if you buy stuff, you, it progresses your game. If you do all of this, you could get more of this stuff for that. Wow. an Xbox. This is an example of where if you buy stuff you could progress yourself in the game to get free items. With the low price of $400 you can get those two free items. It's faster by playing the game. Now of course I'm not gonna do this so I would never know if it's right which from the looks of it well you'll see later in this video if you do complete the games and their offers, their mini games, and all that, you do get the items, yes. You're gonna have to pay in some way, either your money or your time, but as I say, time is money. <sighs> now, I don't feel like playing through this game right now, but this is just one of the many ones. Um, let me see if I can show you some more. I'm gonna switch to voiceover me now to save footage time. just want to say very quickly, all the stuff you see on my Timu, that is not because of me. I didn't contribute to any of it being this. It's just like that by default, I swear. This is a fresh account, okay? So basically this mini game thing is where you have to choose a bunch of gifts, as you can see here. Now, the way you um, obtain these free gifts is you have to cut the price of how much they would cost if you were to buy it regularly. Now, I don't obtain enough to do it, and I end up having to refer friends to complete it, so, yeah. Anyways, that's about it. That's what the app is. Now, I'm going to do something that I haven't done in a long time. 
I haven't been outside in at least an hour. So. Alright, um, welcome to the same room, but at a different angle. Um, if I look like I was attacked by the Loch Ness Monster, I was. It was scary. Anyway, so here we got the packages and stuff. They're all over here, actually. I'm not going to show you. The total cost that I paid was around $24, upwards of $25. Some of the price was the shipping, which explains the cost. One of the packages came a little late, so Timu actually gave me $5 credit for it coming late, which I used to buy another thing. Now, um, if you're concerned about shipping, it's not up to Timu. It'll, um, you can urge, you can pay more for shipping, but it'll arrive when it arrives. It's not up to them if it's late, it's not up to them if it comes early. That's totally up to shipping, that's not up to Timu. Great. Customer service for giving me five dollars for it coming late, but it wasn't a lot that I bought. But um, yeah. one item actually I won from the game, where you had to invite a bunch of people. I only invited my brother and myself again, and they actually sent me one thing for free, despite me not completing the game. So uh, thanks. One package. I think is the same as another one. They might have sent me the same thing over again. It's a package that came late and I got it twice. All right, so here's the part I've been waiting for. I don't know about you, but um, now we go off script. Okay, so this one I'm pretty sure is the first one that came. So uh, let me just... Oh, would you look at that? This is a wolf tooth necklace, which I thought was awesome. Let me see if I can focus the camera on it. That is pretty cool. I got it because it looked cool. Um, let's uh, tear it open. So, the product description said for Confident individuals, which is me. I'm very confident in, and individual. That looks that looks so cool. Let me put it on. Just show you. <laughs> um, this feels cool. It it seems like one of those things you can get at a fair. Let me let me bring it up close to the camera. It's got the the wolf head. Don't look at my gross fingers. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty cool necklace. I don't know what it's um, made out of. I don't know if it's a real wolf tooth. As I said, there was an identical package, almost exactly like it. And I'm pretty sure they just sent me the same one. So, let me just find out. <laughs> so, Timu accidentally sent me the same necklace twice, which I assumed was what happened, and it was. They sent the exact same, the exact same thing twice, which is hilarious because this is the first thing that I got 
that, that, that arrived, and it was late. It, the package came late, and they sent me a toy. So awesome. Guys, I forgive you if it comes late. Now I have two. That's pretty cool. Here's one package I actually got for free. This one was free from that mini game that they have that I didn't fully complete, but they still sent me it. So, awesome. Not a clean tear, but um, this one is 10 cool looking rings. Let me take them out and show you guys. This one appears to be a, uh, appears to be a dragon. Here's a really big one. Look at that. That's another dragon. Very large. Here's like a, what is going on there? It has a rock in it. I don't know what the rock is. There's like an octopus one. Here's like a dragon claw. That's sick. No idea what this is. It, I'm gonna assume like wings or something. There's another smaller octopus one. Here's more claws. Those are pretty cool. And this sick looking snake one. So that's nice. And I don't wear jewelry, so I'm just gonna give these to whoever wants them around me. Here's a stupider product I bought. This is one I bought for free with the Timu credit. Gardening gloves. It was the first thing that popped up after I got the free credit. I, I don't garden, so. I'm probably just gonna give these to my grandparents. They're for... <coughs> these smell horrible. And they're very haphazardly put together. They were just glued together. I don't, I don't garden. I'm just gonna give these to my grandparents. It's gardening gloves. It's very stupid. But it, it was the first thing to pop up. Here's the biggest package I got, which was slightly opened already. So that's nice. Nothing tampered with, of course. This is the sillier stuff. So. <laughs> I kid you not. I bought a grenade. <laughs> a plastic grenade. That. <laughs> Okay, there's this really cool one, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna show it last. <laughs> okay, this one's pretty cool. It's an... <laughs> an SCP security access card. I thought it looked funny, so I bought it. I don't know what the QR code is, but... It was just... it was cool. I had to buy it. Just, just for more dumb stuff. So here's a great example of why you should read what you're buying first. I bought what looked like two real grenades and they sent me stickers which were ruined in shipping. Like car decal stickers. <laughs> Can't make this up. Can't make it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb. The best, the best thing I bought is right here. It's a tapestry. And I just have to show you. So here is probably the best product that I bought. It is a massive wall tapestry of... Yeah. Um, yeah. I can't make this up. I can't make it up what what you could buy on Timu. It, I can't if I try it. It's amazing, isn't it?
<laughs> so, before I wrap up, I just want to mention the the stickers they sell is art stolen from actual artists. So, if you buy it, it could technically be unethical considering you're buying it from Timu, not from the artists themselves who actually create the stickers. You could say Timu does take your internet data, all that, and use it to target products towards you. But like, you see, I was going to talk about that, but everything on the internet, all the apps, everything takes your data, everything invades your privacy, you always agree to it. So really, Timu isn't the villain here. So it, they're just, it's just another app. It, it doesn't matter. And the unethically sourced stickers, you can get the same things on Amazon. So I wanted to complain about Timu, but like, to be fair, they're using marketing strategies. They're doing what other companies are doing. It doesn't they're not the only ones doing things that could be seen as bad. So, do I like Timu? Yeah. They have decent customer service. They gave me credit when a package came late. Um, their products aren't the best, but I mean, as I say, you get what you pay for. That sticker was kind of messed up, the gloves kind of messed up. That tapestry was awesome. That's cool. Uh, but a lot of the products are cheaper. Yes, that is true. One of the products I bought was discontinued after I bought it, which was uh, interesting. But in the end, Timu is just another app. It's just another shopping app. Like, it's not horrible. I mean, you, you do get what you pay for. And yeah, I think some of the stuff you can get on there is funny and cool, but um, was it worth it? I guess, one time, maybe again. We'll see, if I, if I do buy again, I will show you guys what I bought. But yeah, Timu is just an app, and I used it. You got me, Timu. It's decent, that's all I have to say. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment if you like this video. And subscribe in case you want to see videos like it. Maybe I'll post another one. We'll see what the, what the feedback is from this one. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. But if you didn't like this video, don't like and subscribe. Don't share the video. And I won't see you in the next one. Anyways, bye.